Up to this point, we focused on two elements of function. The contract, which describes what data types your function takes as its domain and returns as its range. And the definition, which defines how your function interacts with the data passed to its domain to produce its range. The contract helps us to ensure that our function has the right structure, but it doesn't help us understand what your function should do with the values passed to it to return the expected value. Examples are the missing link between the contract and the definition. By writing two, or more, examples of how your function should operate given specific inputs, you give the computer something to test your function definition against. Software developers often call these unit tests or test cases. Writing examples serve two purposes. First, they help you to see concretely how your function should operate before writing the definition. Second, they give your function something to test against to make sure it works like you expected. All three of these processes taken together, the contract, examples, and the definition are called the design recipe, and they give you a step-by-step -step approach to designing really great functions. Let's follow the design recipe for a simple function called green triangle. That should take a number for size and return a solid green triangle with a given size. First, we'll write a contract that describes the general structure of our function. It should have a name of green triangle, a single number as its domain, and a range of image. Now that we have a contract, let's write some examples. These will be concrete examples of how our function should operate with specific inputs. If we pass the number 15 to green triangle, it should return a 15 pixel solid green triangle. If we pass the number 100 to green triangle, it should return a 100 pixel solid green triangle. If we compare the two examples, we'll see that the only thing that changes between them is the size parameter passed to the triangle function, and those directly correlate to the input the function was passed. With that knowledge, we can write a function definition that replaces that changing element with a variable. Each example has a test button next to it. Clicking test will run the code in your example and display its output in the play area on the left. Running a test will also compare the value returned by your test against the value returned by your function definition given the same values and tell you whether or not your example matches your definition. In this stage, you'll use the design recipe to write functions that will help animate a rocket blasting off.